Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. I have been solving math problems for GMAT out of this book here, the GMAT review, the official guide. If you don't know, if you do not have this book already, purchase one immediately. You should be able to find it at mba.com. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 186, problem solving number 246. Let's take a look at it. If you happen to own a new book, a newer edition, the 12th edition, this book, uh, do not bother looking for this particular problem in this book. It does not exist in this book. They have taken it out of the 12th edition. Let me make a note here. It is not in 12th edition. So don't try, don't, don't waste your time looking for it. Let's take a look at it. This problem on the very last page, and, and even the last 50 altogether, there are 250 questions, they, they, they increase in the level of difficulty. The last 50 from 201 through 249, they're not meant for everybody. Those are, those, those, these are meant for people who are going to score in the 700 and above. This particular question that I'm about to do, there is no, other, there is no easy way of doing it. There is no straightforward, uh, quick and dirty way of doing it. Classical way is the only way of solving this problem. I'm going to show you what's going on here, and we'll see. It says the circuit board is designed to have a width W inches, parameter paint, let's, let's make a note here, so the width is W inches, parameter is P inches, and area is k square inches and the question simply is which of the following equation must be true must be true and that's all it is that's all they give you our job is to use this information and somehow manipulate it until we find out what we're looking for something that looks like that the width is 12 uh, w inches I'm going to make it a length length let's call it l inches I'm just making it up so how do I find express the perimeter? The perimeter is simply if you have a if you have a rectangle, here is your length and here is your width, is two times width and two times w. So it's two times L plus W plus one equation. So that's that. Then I'm told that uh, area is k square inches. How do you find the area? Area is length times width. It's this. What else do we know? Length times width. Anything else do we know? Well, we told that that is k. All right. This is k. Let me put this on the side here. The parameter they're calling it k, and that's l times w. Let's let's solve for l from here. L is K over W. I'm going to put it back in this equation. The parameter is two times L, which is K over W plus W. Multiply the whole equation by W, so I get WP equals two times L plus two times W, or W squared rather. Does this look anything like uh, what we have here? Ah, oh, there we go. I think we're getting there. There you go. Oh, I think I made a boo boo. L, I'm so I solve for L. L is k over w. This is k. This should be k. K over w, and this should be two k. There we go. Bring the WP to the other side, and I think we're done. So, 2W squared. Bring the WP to the other side. W times P. And that's all there is. 2 times W squared minus WP, or PW, better yet. This out of the convention. The convention, of course, is that we write them in the alphabetical order.
I should have done the same thing there instead of WP it should be PW. Not that it matters because they are being multiplied, PW or even when they are added doesn't matter, but the convention dictates that we write them in alphabetical order and I'm going to observe the convention as opposed to observing it in breach. It's a custom that we just have to honor. That's it, I'm done. The answer is E. Other than that, there is not much you can do here. Let me look at the time one more time. Uh, one, let me look at the time in the back, and I'll see if I can explain a little bit more. One more time. Let's see what happens. I'm six minutes into it. So very first thing I did is is that I made up this this variable. This variable does not exist. I made it up. So here is your here is your rectangle. Here's my length and here's my width. So therefore the area is area, this is this is the area. It's got to be length times width, which is L times W. And from there I solve for L from this equation, L equals K over W. So that's this part right here. And then I took this equation, L equals K over W, and substituted in this equation. So P equals P is the perimeter, which is simply 2 times W and 2 times L, which is what this is, 2 times. 2 times L plus W. So then I took the value of the L from this equation, K over W, substitute back in here. So we get 2 times K over W plus W, multiply the whole equation by W, PW equals times PW equals 2K plus 2W squared. And you just write them in the form that you, that you see in one of the answer choices. You have to keep manipulating it until you find something that looks close to the way the answers are presented. That's all. I hope you found it helpful. If you wish to hire me for personal private tutoring or if you wish to purchase the solutions to all the problems including the data sufficiency problems along with the 250 problem solving questions, uh, in either case go to my website at www.prep, P-R-E-P prep, F-O-R-4, gmat.com and send me an email. I'm located in Connecticut but as I've said before in my, all the other clips I'm willing to come wherever you are, as long as, uh, as, long as it's worth my while. But uh, mostly, uh, I like to stick around Connecticut and, and in Manhattan area in New York. But wherever you are, New Jersey, Man Man Massachusetts, uh, Rhode Island, it doesn't matter. Uh, give me a call, alright? Or rather, send me an email. Thank you.